Nick from Wisconsin. Nick, you're live with Eric and V. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you doing? Hey, doing well. We stole you right out of the uh, out of the call screener uh, <laughs> <laughs> a process. I know, no, no. You, you ripped me right out of there. Yeah. Yeah, well, we appreciate it. Uh, so, what did you want to talk about today? Okay, what I want to talk about is um, you were talking about you know COVID, and I, I understand everything you know how, how it goes, but here's what gets me is that um, people who are really emphatic and want more lockdowns are people who can survive a lockdown. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I partially, yeah. Um, I, I definitely am in a position where I'm doing my best to survive it. But at the same time, um, I have only been able to get partial work and I'm mm -hmm. doing a good amount of personal suffering um, with being able to manage it all. But I'm doing my best to limit the amount that I could possibly be not just exposed because I really don't. I'm I. I'm not as afraid of getting the virus as I am of spreading it to other people. You know, and so the no, concern. No, no. And, and I get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 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 the concern there is that. Um, that I'm making sure that I'm doing my best by other people. I feel like it's the most empathetic thing to do to, to try and make sure that those people who don't have a choice, like you're, you know, I, I think you're, you're implying that, you know, not everybody is as privileged to have that kind of choice. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and, and yeah. that's what I'm, uh, I'm saying like with my friends, uh, um, and I, I personally can work from home, um, mm -hmm. I, I don't right now, but I can. But on the other hand, I'm empathetic for people who cannot. Sure, absolutely. Um, so question here. Um, it says you're a religious caller. Um, I, I'm, I'm having trouble kind of connecting the pieces. Um, so what, what specifically about this topic did you want to kind of dive into? Well, what I really wanted to dive into is, and yes, I, I am a religious caller, um, but... Uh, Basically, it's that um, I think people need to have empathy for people who can't work from home, who physically cannot. Their job will not let them. Okay. And we have to understand that, you know, the virus is, is a thing. It's real. Mm -hmm. But people still need to make a living. Yeah. Right. And this is this is talking about I, I, I want to take this opportunity to talk about a larger aspect of this, which is there's there is also the concern here that the reason like people are very quick to point at people who go out to bars with friends or travel for the holidays. And yes, those are irresponsible things to do right now. But a very large reason that the U.S. is still spiking as hard as it is, is because the government has not been providing people with stimulus or unemployment uh, so that they can get through it or, or giving small businesses the ability to, uh, you know, finance themselves so they can make it through this period in new ways. So it's not necessarily, we're not saying that the people uh, traveling for Thanksgiving, for example, are the reason we're spiking. We acknowledge that that is a governmental systemic thing. It has been mismanaged since the get-go, um, and it would be irresponsible of us to not point that out. So you are accurate there. Um, I think together we need to be pushing for new legislation and, and new approaches to this that will provide people with the the economic stability to be able to say, I'm not going to work this month because it's too dangerous for me for other people yeah. and feel supported in doing that. So fully agree with you there. Absolutely. I, and and I, I think we're in agreement too, but um, the thing is uh, until legislation happens, um, people need to work. Uh, th that's understood. Money. I, yeah. I, 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 I don't understand what you're pushing back against though. I'm, I'm wondering if we're representing something to you that we don't understand yet what, what, what where okay, do you maybe, feel pushback maybe i'm saying maybe i'm saying this wrong and i'm not trying to push back at all what, what i'm no, saying I, 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 we want pushback that is the <laughs> nature of the show in the format yeah hit us okay, okay. what are you seeing um what i'm what i'm saying is that um basically and, and i'm saying this just you know, from my friends, my friend circle, and maybe this is uh, um, a, a small sample size, but mm -hmm. people who are 
very adamant about we need more lockdowns are people who work from home. You know, I I appreciate that you're calling on this because your experience is yeah. so different from mine that um, I think okay. that maybe sharing it can help clear up some of the things that uh, is, is causing a lot of disagreement online. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I'm sure if you watch the show, you know, at the end of the show, we, we thank everybody who has to be out there right. you know, working. Um, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. with that in mind, yeah. we're in Texas. And mm -hmm. if you go to, let's say, Zilker Park, right in the middle of Austin, Texas, which is one of the most liberal cities in this part of the country. Um, hey, dude, I'm in Madison, Wisconsin, so, you know, so, I'm there so, with you. So, yeah. Okay, so over here, if you go to the park, there are pe more people without masks than with. And they're yeah. living in a world where I think they don't believe that COVID is a thing. And so mm -hmm. what you have is groups of 30, 50, 100, 120, you know, uh, at doing, doing, you know, group activities, you know, sports and, 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 and um, just the way that people are conducting themselves, not working, but just personally okay. is what's causing at least V and I to respond to the way we are, because we're not seeing a world where you know, people are specifically talking about work. We're seeing a world where people are putting, not only putting themselves at risk, but it feels like not caring enough about everybody else to do their part. You know, it, it feels selfish. Okay. I, I, I see where you're coming from. I, I totally do. Um, I mean, if, if, if it helps. Where I'm coming from. If it helps, we're happy to reinforce and, and empathize and affirm to you, hey, um, we can absolutely understand that people got to work and they've got to expose themselves, and we definitely don't want to downplay that at all. Yeah, 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 uh, absolutely. And um, But, uh, again, I, I guess really the point I'm making, and um, I, I just – you know, turned on the show and I, and I saw you, you guys talking about this. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I, I wanted to just bring out that. And again, I don't know either of your situations, how you, whatever, but it seems to me that people who are really em emphatic about, we need more lockdowns are people who work from home. Well, and that's what I'm seeing in my friend group. And that's what I'm seeing on my Facebook feed. And that's what I'm seeing in everyone. And people are not having empathy with people who can't work from home, but still need to feed their families. See, here's here two things. One thing I, I'm always going to jump on this. Uh, always, always, always make sure that you are moving outside of your Facebook feed, your friend group, in order to get information because oh, that oh, can provide course. a bubble. Just need to throw that out there. Also... I have heard from multiple essential workers, so people who cannot work from home and need to be working right now, that a shutdown, while temporarily a concern for, for short term, would honestly help them and put them in a safer place long term as well. So I'm seeing in the live chat right now, for example, a lot of people who are essential workers who are saying, I, I support a shutdown because I am being exposed daily by irresponsible people. And it would make my life easier if we had a temporary shutdown, got things under control, instead of allowing things to continue as they are because that is by itself putting them at a lot of risk. So there are multiple reasons to have this conversation, multiple directions we can go. I think we covered quite a bit. This is um, right now probably, I'm glad we got this out of the way, but unless we're talking about a God claim at this point, I think we should probably Yeah, probably. Um, but you know, I, I think that if any time that we're going to have this conversation, it's going to be the time where we're doing an episode together. Right, exactly. I'm that... glad that this was something we were able to fill out a little bit more. So Sorry. thanks, Nick. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me just close this call and... You know, it, it really does get me thinking, and I think you're absolutely right. I think that though it, it, it's not just what essential workers are wanting, it's what we owe them. Right, exactly. And, and um, it's, it's getting tough. I mean, I'm definitely, I just lost my job. I'm not working at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing my best to find work that I can from home so that I don't have to. Um, but it's 
taking it upon yourself. I, I the the interesting thing is the 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 phrasing of pushing for or wanting, um, you know, uh, staying at home and wanting wanting quarantine. Right. Um, I don't want quarantine. I want to go no, back to my nobody, real life. <laughs> no one wants that. No, I want to go back to the ACA. <laughs> I want to see people. I want to tour them through the studio. I want to have you know, a meal with my friends. I want to go out. I want to go to the park. I want to go and play sports. No, I don't. But if I did, I would want to, <laughs> you know, the, the, the idea that that we're pro, you know, just just wanting this, I think it definitely represents us in a way that we don't see ourselves because I want to live in a world where we don't have to have this. Um, that said, if taking care of ourselves and each other is what gets us to that world quicker, Yeah. then that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I think we should all do. Exactly. All right. So here's the funny thing. Uh, we're just now starting to get more religious callers in uh, because they wait until the show's going, but we're not able to pace things through if you don't call in. So if you do want to call, talk to us, call in 512-991-9242 or tiny.cc slash call TH. Call us, talk to us. We want to know what you believe. We want to know what you believe and why. 